Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a motherboard on this Dell Inspiron laptop. So here's the motherboard, and I'm gonna do the entire process from start to finish, and kind of give you a walk through the full disassemble or tear down on this Dell laptop. All right, so let's go ahead and identify the model. If you take a look at the back of your computer, you should be able to see that it says Dell P, 93 G okay so that is the model number let's go ahead and remove the uh, the screw I'll be using a Philip PH 0 It looks like the three screws on the top that do not come off. And there are four screws here at the bottom. Once you've removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and open up the uh, the back cover. I see an opening gap right here. So technically the entire bottom piece is being separated on this side. Okay, so the entire back cover, you can just remove it out. Here you can see the entire internal part of the computer. The first thing I like to do is disconnect the battery. That is the cable connector that connects to the main board. All you have to do is to slide the cable down and then the connector will be just disconnect from the motherboard. To remove the battery, go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. This is a PH0 again. I'll be removing four screws. If you want to uh, replace the battery, this is a good time to do so. Um, since you already opened up the computer and then if you're not sure where to buy the battery from, go ahead and look up for the model here, which is YRDD6, that is the model of, of the battery replacement. And again, if you notice that your battery is swollen or bulging, so right now my battery pretty much is flat. You can see that the, uh, the battery has no kind of symptoms that showing that is bulging or, or um, bloated. So that, that indicates that the battery is still good. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cables here. Um, what I like to do is to disconnect the CMOS battery. So I'm gonna slide that connector down. This is the trackpad. Make sure the clipper is open, flip it up and slide the cable down. Flip up the clipper for the keyboard and slide that cable down. Here comes a speaker connector. Just kind of slide it down. To remove the RAM, your two RAM slot. If you want to upgrade the RAM, you can use the secondary slot. The first slot is on this part. To remove it, you just have to push the two little metal, kind of push it away from each other, and then you can slide that RAM out. This is a DDR4 RAM, which is says a PC4, that is four gigabytes. You can add four and four, which is eight total or you can do eight and eight, which is 18. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi. Remove that screw. Make sure you identify the cable. The left goes to the right. Sorry, the white goes to the, the white cable it stays on the right. The black cable stays on the left.
this is the hard drive so the hard drive has one of the small screw that is holding it down and this is the mini size of m.2 ssd drive what you can do is just remove the screw and remove the hard drive you can actually upgrade to a larger one if you want a full size m.2 can be installed in this part of the computer let's move on to the next process i'm going to disconnect the cpu fan there are two screws one and second screw once you have removed the two screws now you want to slide a cable for the cpu fan to your left slide it out and you can just remove the cpu fan okay let's go ahead and disconnect this cable here you want to make sure that this little metal clipper is slide open and slide that whole cable to your left i'm going to remove the four screws keep that in mind the screw does not uh, disconnect from the heat sink it stays on the heat sink all you have to do is just make sure the screw is loose and remove the heat sink like such at this point here the next step is to go ahead and disconnect the LCD screen cable again there's a metal clipper open it up slide it away and that is probably the webcam and slide it out as well and this is the DC jack charger cable slide it out and we should have pretty much have everything disconnected so let's go ahead and remove the screw I wonder why the motherboard is blue the replacement motherboard Oh, so did they send me the wrong one? Looks like they did. I should have paid attention to that. Oh well. Yeah, this is the wrong motherboard. Why would they send me the wrong motherboard? Did I give them the wrong serial number? So guys, I apologize for this. It doesn't end up the way I wanted it to. This sent me the wrong motherboard. Okay, so let's take a look here. The model for this is 04K9R. Okay, so that is the model, original 04K49R. And they sent me a replacement of this, which is, might be this model here. This is absurd. Anyway, um, I'm not able to replace the motherboard. That was the whole point of doing this. I apologize, guys. Um, first, I thought this was the right motherboard. I didn't want to pay attention to it. I jumped right into the repair. I just wanted to make the video for you guys um, but at least I was able to show you guys on how to disassemble uh, at least try to remove the motherboard anyway I'm still gonna post a video out I, I feel like the guy who sent me this motherboard I'm not I'm not gonna name them uh, it is coming from eBay um, just to protect the seller identity I do not want to expose but I did ask for the right motherboard it could be my mistake all right i'll check my work i'll check my email again i apologize not able to get it done um, let's talk about the, the laptop here for a second if you're going to replace the keyboard just to identify the keyboard is non-replaceable you can see that the keyboard here is built in with the uh, palm rest so in other words, when you replace the motherboard, uh, the keyboard, I mean, you would have to, you would have to uh, replace the whole whole thing, the full assembly. This full assembly. All right, 
anyway uh thanks for watching i know the video is is unrelated to the title uh, but hopefully it helps for people who who needs um to to take a look what is in there thanks for watching until next time bye now